And this is a daily encouragement devotional from Monday, February 10th, 2020. The verse comes from Matthew 11, 4 through 6, New King James. Jesus answered and said to them, Go and tell John the things which you hear and see. The blind see and the lame walk. The lepers are cleansed and the deaf hear. The dead are raised up and the poor have the gospel preached to them. And blessed is he who is not offended because of me. Faltering, yet faithful, is the title of today's devotional. This is a lesser-known beatitude, searching but precious. It was spoken by our Lord in response to a word sent to him by John the Baptist. Are you the one who was to come, or should we expect someone else? Matthew 11, 3. John was in Herod's prison, and we must give him credit, for his first concern was not for himself, but for the kingdom of God. Nevertheless, behind the question, there must have been an element of doubt and temptation to despair. Our Lord's reply begins with the assurance that God's word is being fulfilled. The blind receive their sight, the lame walk, almost as a direct response coming from the scripture of Isaiah 35, 4 through 6. Say to those who are fearful hearted, be strong and do not fear. Behold, your God will come with vengeance. With the recompense of God, he will come and save you. And the eyes of the blind will be opened. And the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. And the lame shall leap like a deer. And the tongue of the dumb sing. But the water, for water shall burst forth in the wilderness and streams in the desert. And then he adds this beatitude. That as John's disciples depart, he gives his opinion of John. Not a reed swayed by the wind, a prophet, and more than a prophet. There has not risen another greater, the Elijah who was to come. Matthew eleven seven through fifteen. The Lord permits His servants to endure circumstances where the temptation to fall away will be a reality. Those times when Christ does not act as they thought He would, and when He does nothing to change their predicament. He is counting them faithful, 1 Timothy 1 through 1, 12. And though they would be amazed if they knew what good things he is saying about them behind their backs. Holy Father, all your children experience doubt. We often second-guess ourselves, but sadly, we second-guess you, Lord. Lord, we need your daily assurance that you are Elroy, the God who sees, that you are Jehovah Shema. The Lord is there. Strengthen our faith in you that it would be a shield against the attacks of the enemy. And though we believe, help our unbelief. Trusting even in our darkest moments that you are there, you see, and you've got it all worked out. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. All right, and there's uh, links there to check it out. There's a link there for some good worship from Casting Crowns. Nobody? probably heard it on the radio recently all right so click the like if you like leave a comment question prayer request and we'll see you tomorrow take care god bless